So guys, the time has finally come and unexpectedly Elon has confirmed that Hardware 5 upgrade is coming to newer vehicles. During this year's annual shareholders meeting, we were met with a very enthusiastic Elon Musk who came out on stage dancing in celebration. Now we won't be diving too far into the financials, the promises and the contracts that have been circulating around the web, but the enthusiasm was to celebrate what they have achieved, the progress and the security of the company. So at this point, even with all the noise going on, you can be assured that Tesla is in very great shape and there is a very bright future for this company. So then, aside from all that, there were a lot of things that happened during this shareholders meeting, tons of things that were expected and then there were a bunch that were a surprise to all of us. Now, before we get into the meat of Hardware 5, let's talk about some of the things we know so far and a lot of things that really correlate to this newer hardware upgrade. At this point now, we all know that Tesla plans to unveil the RoboTaxi during their August 8th event and this is going to be the highlight of this year and for many future years to come. But what's crazy about all this is that even as they are preparing for the RoboTaxi launch event, they have announced that there are three additional new vehicles coming to the market. During this shareholders event, we got to see a slide of what seems to be all the current vehicles available to the market today. But included in all that, there is three additional vehicles that are all covered in a blanket. And if these images aren't at all obvious enough that Tesla has a long way to go, there is a text right up top saying the exact same thing and they have indicated that there is a goal to replace all future vehicles over to EVs. So even when putting aside all the insane and crazy projects that they're working on within Tesla, just the vehicle segment alone has enough to cover them for years to come. With all that being said, let's take a moment here and look back at last year's shareholders meeting and see exactly what Tesla plans for their future vehicle fleets as well as the RoboTaxi. You can see here that included in their 2023 April's event estimate, they have two upcoming models that have not not made it to the market just yet. In contrast, comparing it to this year's event, they have added one additional vehicle to the lineup of upcoming models and this is likely going to be the RoboTaxi. Now, due to the long delays and the unknown ETA of the second generation Tesla Roadster, we are not going to be adding this to the mix. However, with three additional vehicles underneath these covers, we can guess that they are going to be the new van, the smaller second generation Model 3, as well well as uh, the cyber cab. Speaking of the cyber cab and the robo taxi, shortly after the shareholders meeting ended, news has emerged that there is an impending launch of the full self-driving software in China with the robo taxi service finally launching. According to recent sources within China, the director of data department has just approved a pilot project to launch 10 vehicles with full self-driving software to run within certain cities. It has been stated that if all testing goes well, driverless taxis will be approved connecting the city of Nanhui to the Pudong airport immediately after. Tesla will then be able to gradually increase their fleet size, handling all the incoming and outgoing traffic coming from that city to the international airport. Now something here worth noting is that Tesla may be using a completely different full self-driving stack compared to what we have in North America with FSD supervised. This software is going to be built specifically for the Chinese market for their road and rural infrastructure and all of this is going to be developed and managed by the Tesla China team to ensure that all of the data is kept within the country and everything is abiding all rules and regulations. So at this point with the recent news emerging we know that Tesla is all hands on deck with the robo taxi launch especially in China first and then it will eventually move to the US market. So now with the robo taxi launch there is something very special that is going to be setting the benchmark for all future vehicles to come and that is going to be the new sensor suite dubbed Hardware 5. This sensor suite is going to be incredibly powerful, so much more powerful that they have said it will be 10x the compute power of Hardware 4. During last week's shareholders meeting, Elon has confirmed that Hardware 5 design has been completed and now they are moving over to the production stages. Not only is this chip going to be more powerful with a brand new design, they are also switching up the 
the name to now AI5 instead of Hardware 5. This is very similar to what Apple had done with their OS naming scheme. They had moved over to iOS rather than just a generic name. So AI5 computer is what we're going to be calling it moving forward. And I know this is a very hard transition, but we're going to have to adapt to the fact that this is going to be an artificial intelligent chip. Now what makes this more interesting and just that much more special is that the AI5 or Hardware 5 chip is going to be the very first physical difference and very first physical change ever since the mobile eye transition. This is where we're going to be seeing additional sensors, better placements, different components, and better retrofitability compared to what we had previously. However, with a very big twist to what we had thought with Hardware 3, Elon has confirmed during the shareholders meeting that there is a ton more untapped potential out of this chip and it will be a long time before they reach the limits of Hardware 3. He also went on to say that Hardware 5 is now finally starting to be trained at Giga Texas and that it will be about 8 times more powerful than Hardware 3. So this means that these two chips are going to be lasting for years to come even before Hardware 5 goes into production. So overall, if you do own any of the previous chips and you do plan to upgrade anytime soon, it may be a very long time, but your car is still just as capable as any of the future products. However, with all this in mind and how much Tesla has praised the previous chips and all the potential that has been untapped, they have already started working on Hardware 5 and there is a very big reason for that. With Hardware 5 being part of their vision for full self-driving and robo-taxi service, they have added the capabilities of 10x more potential than Hardware 4. This means that the chip is likely going to be the final chip before they really make it to level 4 or level 5 self-driving. What's even more interesting about this full self-driving AI5 chip is that it has a max peak output of 800 watts compared to the 300 from Hardware 4 and Hardware 3. And although from the sounds of it, this chip is very power hungry when it comes to all the power it's sucking in, it is very efficient compared to Hardware 4 and Hardware 3 while it's not fully maximized. And given how the power power requirements are more than double that of the prior two trips but at the same time running even more efficiently it leads us to believe that this is going to be exclusive to the 48 volt architecture seen on the Cybertruck likely coming to only new models. Now in terms of the time frame if you are in the market for a Tesla today we are nowhere close. Tesla and Elon has said that we are about 18 months out and even though the design has been completed it will take about a year and some change before they can put it into the newer vehicles. However, against all odds, I do believe that we are going to be seeing the first instance of Hardware 5 sensor suites on the RoboTaxi launch on August the 8th. If you are really interested in seeing what the future capabilities and future sensors are going to be like on the Model S, E, X, and Y, you definitely want to check out this event because there is no doubt that Tesla is going to be packing every single possible sensor into the RoboTaxi to ensure that everybody has enough faith in all the power that it's able to do. So down to the final points here, Hardware 4 has not gone a very long life. It lasted about two years before it has been superseded by Hardware 5. Regardless of what the outcome is with the shareholders meeting and what Elon has said about Hardware 3 and Hardware 4 with the untapped potential, there is no doubting that there is just and not enough sensors all around the car to make the car fully autonomous. I have discussed this in detail as to why Hardware 4 is just a stepping stone and that the company never intended and it should have never existed. If you want to know more about that, I will drop a link in the description below and up top there. I definitely recommend you guys watch that to get an understanding as to why Tesla is now working on Hardware 5 and why this should have been called a different hardware suite a few years back. But anyways guys, there is a ton of good stuff coming out, especially on full self-driving and hardware 5. I will be covering all of that and be keeping you as updated as possible. So definitely stick around and hit that subscribe button, that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. Over there, you guys can chat with me, DM with me, and I would try to respond as quickly as possible every single time. So make sure you do that. But anyways, this should be it. This is John once again. Peace out.